Hi guys, um, I just wanted to, um, to share with you, um, a dream that I had last night, um, and, um, yeah, it was just, I can't really describe it very well, and, and I encourage you guys, if you ever have a dream from the Lord, write it down because the time you want to say about it you either forget but I think it's really important that you um sort of like write write um write down dreams um I've had many from the Lord um but they don't always I don't have them all the time and so um I'm actually going through a lot of um a lot of stuff going on and um so i'm i guess i have a a fear of being alone um and um so my first dream i was basically just i was looking outside and there was a lot of thunder and lightning that we didn't actually have any lightning but in my dream there was like a lot of lightning and there was just basically just me sit down downstairs in, in my house and just watching lightning but um the main dream I really want to share with you was the other dream I had and um I was it was complete pitch black there was no light it was dark and um I was I was worshiping I was having time in worship and um I can hear um someone from my church she she was leading she was doing a bit of worship on Thursday um so I heard her and um and it it sounded like to me it was like either on a radio station or it was like on a cd um and then during the worship i saw this like hooded it was really weird it's something like out of like a star wars film or something and it was like a hooded creature um hooded thing with like um two red eyes and i thought oh what's that and um during the worship i think i was possessed by deep by possessed by a demon um, and I, I heard someone say to me, um, during my dream, I speak Jesus over you, or I heard the exact words, I speak Jesus. But, um, and so I think someone was praying with me during the worship, though I couldn't see that person, but I heard someone say, I speak Jesus, I speak Jesus over me. And then suddenly I saw a massive flash, like a massive, massive flash, not like a lightning flash, but like a camera flash. It was like a massive flash. Um, and then suddenly I just heard this like for like, like one second and it was like this very loud, thunderous voice. And I couldn't move, like um, I couldn't talk and my whole body was like completely numb and I was like, I can't get, I can't wake up. And suddenly I woke up and I was like, <gasps> like really like, what was that? And it was three in the morning. It was three o'clock this morning. And I was like, whoa, I'm going to pray this out because I don't know if this is from the Lord. And um, yeah, I reminded that the Lord spoke to me um, about a dream that I had a few, um, a few years ago about, um, it was exactly a very similar dream, a similar like experience of seeing that massive flash through my window um, and then seeing um, and then hearing that thunderous voice. I, I didn't know what it said, but it was definitely like a thunderous type voice. And then I woke up and it was similar to the dream I had a few years ago, though I didn't I was in the like in a pitch black room. And so I don't know if that was like a night terror or it was from the Holy Spirit. But I felt like that was definitely the Holy Spirit because I've I've had a similar occurrence when when asking the Lord to reveal Himself to me in dreams and in visions, and to have that massive flash was just I was like, okay, God, you're here. You're that was powerful. That was extremely powerful, and I God was reminding me that how powerful His truly how how really powerful His His presence is, how real powerful it is. He really is, even in the dark places. And so I really wanted to share with you guys that dream. I don't know um, if anyone has had a dream similar to me, but I remember having night terrors um, a few years ago um, where I'm just like, I am I feel like I'm just stuck on my bed. I can't say anything. I couldn't move my tongue. 
I was like frozen on my bed, but though I didn't have like a big flash or anything, but it was like, it was really, um, it was real dark. Um, but I've, I've learned a lot to just pray, just pray, even if the dream isn't from the Lord, or even if it is from the Lord, just ask the Lord, okay, God, what was that about? What, what are you talking to me about? And so I'm, so I feel like that carry on, um, being with the Lord, being in the presence. And the more you, the more you do that, um, yes, you are more likely to get, under, um, to be attacked, but actually when you have spiritual gifts, it could be speaking in tongues. Um, especially when I, um, I receive speaking in tongues, um, the, the, yeah, the receiving, um, tongues about a few years ago now during a worship session at my church. Um, I think someone from my church did it a few years ago before her and her husband went back to the States and I received the, the, um, received speaking in tongues and I'm able to, I'm getting more to do that a lot often. And I think God wanted me to use my, um, my, um, I can't talk this morning. I'm so tired. Um, I couldn't, um, to use my tongue to pray against what that was but I really felt that the Lord was in that dream and it was like it was like like a massive battle it was so it was very spiritual there was like a seeing a demon in my dream and then suddenly a massive flash and it was like the presence of the Lord just overwhelmed me and I was it was so overwhelming I couldn't I, I was on the ground I couldn't I couldn't even um yeah I couldn't even move it was just incredible but God also, God wanted me to speak out um, against what that was. And I think God sometimes tests our faith so, um, or tests us during these trials of whatever we're going through right now. So, yeah, I really wanted to share with you that dream I had last night. <laughs> um, and, yeah, if you ever have dreams and if you know they're not from the Lord, when you wake up from the dream... I, I would recommend you guys to just literally just um, pray it out. Just speak it out. If you've um, got a gift of tongues, speak in tongues. Because that's powerful. It's a powerful weapon is speaking in tongues. And that is, um, I've, you, you know, using that is just, I was like, wow. I'm, you know, just like, I feel like I was just grabbing my sword out and I got my shield. And I was really praying against that this morning. So I really encourage you guys to um, just yeah speak it out speak it out and just give him the glory and say lord i don't know what that was about but i ask you that you would just speak to me through dreams and through visions every night and i didn't even have any night terrors even after praying against that a few years ago so if you have night terrors and they come back just pray against it and always ask the lord when when you're praying and you're when you're praying before you go to sleep at night pray and say if there's anything that should not be in this room i ask you right now that you just um Remove yourself from this room in the name of Jesus. So I really um, encourage you guys. And yeah, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And yeah, God bless. Bye.